Hi, it's Kelly here. And wouldn't you love it if you had a question that your employees could ask of themselves or instantly make them into better performing employees and with fewer headaches? Would you love that? Well, I have such a question and I'm going to give it to you in this video. And I've also written a very short book about it. The main part of the book is like 25 pages that you'll be able to get on Kindle. And if you don't have a Kindle, don't worry about it. That you don't need a player. You can get it with a couple of clicks. Um, so this question is to help us deal with the challenges that we have. You know, you might have problem employees even, and to assist them to become less of a problem. In fact, they might become just the opposite. And you're going to love that because it's going to make your life easier. You know, we all have our challenges. I, I had one when I was about a year old. Uh, a nanny broke my back and another bone in my body. And uh, probably I must have said at the time, why me? Why me, God? You know? And uh, because nowadays I drop stuff a lot. And, and it used to be that I would say a few choice words and think, why me, God? Why me? And uh, sometimes I would be aware of it, sometimes not. And maybe you have a similar issue, or maybe it's a different reaction. Uh, you know, some people feel low self-worth. Uh, some people feel disrespected. It, it, it just varies. You know, it could be a, an example. It would be like if, if growing up, you felt like your parents didn't love you as much as they loved your brothers and sisters. And you may have real evidence of that being the case. So you've got the evidence, right? It's negative, and it's really hard to get rid of. Well, guess what happens? You, you ask your spouse for something, and it doesn't happen. And then you ask a little later, and, and they look at you like, why are you giving me attitude? Why are you nagging? What, you're not the boss of me. You know? And that life can be like that, right? We, we have situations like this every day it seems right and so we need a tool to get us out of it instantly and easily and the beautiful part about this is that when we react to the little things like today like you know the spouse not helping us or my back or dropping trash and having to pick it up it's really a struggle that reaction is probably identical to the one that we had to the big traumas that we have in our life. So the beauty of this is that we can clear out those negative reactions to the big traumas in our life without ever thinking about them again. Ever. Now imagine this with your employees. You know, you got certain employees that are difficult to talk to and you're trying to figure out how to talk to them, how to get through to them, how to get the, change their attitudes so that they'll be more productive, right? And it's, and it's challenging. But if they're the one asking themselves the question, you don't have to be involved in it. They make the change, the transformation, on their own. Plus, as a boss, you're going to have to give instructions to people all the time, right? And so sometimes you're going to give instructions somebody doesn't feel like it at that particular time doing it. And, you, and, and, and they may not do a very good job of it, or they may procrastinate in doing it, or whatever, right? This question, because if they don't like the, the assignment, they can flip it like that. So now they're in a space where they're really productive. And it gives you greater freedom when you're discussing things with them because of their ability to flip it, right? And if they, if somebody, your employee does something or says something or doesn't do something for you, and you feel that, and you've got a meeting, a big important meeting with a customer, you can flip it so that you're in a great space. And you get it, to, and not only in a great space, mentally and emotionally, but it gets done. The job gets done. That's really worth a lot, isn't it? And yet the book is only $9.99. And 
by the way, this is you, you're going to want to get your suppliers to, to, to order their own copies, all of them, because you want to be them to be on the same page as you, which is way elevated up here. You want them elevated up here and you elevated up here because that gives you a competitive advantage like nobody else. In addition, you're going to find that you find new ways to do things. When I drop stuff, it used to be I just had one way of picking them up. Now I'll come up with six, six different ways. And I've become an inventor. See, this is one of my inventions here. <laughs> oh, and I'll tell you about it in the book a little bit. Uh, so you get a twofer. Um, but this could create $10,000 windfalls for your business, or 100000 or even these days, I mean, with depending what it is, it could be a billion dollars. And it doesn't stop because you can repeat this cycle over and over again. Uh, and the question that I've been using, I've been using it for two, three, four years. It doesn't change, not one word. So it just keeps working and working and working. Unlike if you send your employees to a, you know, or, or pay somebody to come in a lot of money to get your employees up and motivated. And it works for a while and it works really great. And then over time, it, time, it maybe tapers off and you spend $500 per employee. Or if you have a weekly meetings and you're paying these people $10 an hour and there's 10 of them, that's 100 bucks plus all the, you know, the, the taxes and the this is and the that. So it's really not 10, it's more like 12 or 15, right? Cost you a bunch of money. There's 150 bucks just to, to you know, if you have employees at that level, if, you, if they're $100 an hour, it's that much more, right? So you'll be, they'll be able to instruct themselves a lot. So let's get to the question. And what I'd like you to do to make this really work for you is to remember something that bothered you. Or, you know, it could be an employee. It could be in, could have been in your car. You know, somebody cut you off. You know, it could have been a dinner you were having that didn't go well. You know, or with a client even, right? So you got that thought or that emotion how you felt about it. All right, so here's the question. We'll do it a couple of times. Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Let's do it again. Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Now, normally I just do it twice, but let's do it a third time where you get a chance to repeat it uh, out loud if you can or silently. Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Do you see how that shifts you from the negative that you were in to a neutral place and you were seeking the answer? It's, it's hardwired in your brain to seek the answer and find the solution. Now, if you had tried to move that negative to a positive, you would be lying to yourself, right? It'd be like, well, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. But now you've moved it from negative to neutral, seeking the answer. And so this is worth $9.99, isn't it? And I'll tell you about my invention. You know, and that's free. You're going to love it. And and you're going to be able to use it over and over and over again. And you're going to be able to, oh, oh, I didn't tell you. This is exciting. In the question is what I call a zero calorie egg. And this zero, cal zero calorie egg takes you from, from the uh, vicious circles to delicious circles automatically. So when you're asking the question, you're in the you're you're in the delicious circle, and it, it empowers you ten to the fortieth power. And I explain that in there. There's no math involved. It's beautiful. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, and and your kids are gonna love it, and every kid in school should love it. You know, from the eighth, ninth grade on up, they sh they're gonna be loving it. So you got your you got your uh, suppliers using it, and you got your and you got the kids in school using it. What can be better than that? We're going to be creating go 
attitudinal gardens of Eden, you know, emotional and, 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 phys and, and mental gardens of Eden. It's going to be awesome. So you just go to the link there, like I say, it's $9.99 for each one of your employees. If you've got 100,000 employees, you get 100,000 copies so they can, they can learn it and work it because they're, they're going to love it. They will, they, they will consider this to be the greatest gift that you have ever given them, ever, bar none. So you go right here, you click on that link. And if there's nothing there to click on, you go down here. Go down here, 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 somewhere down there, one of these two places. You're going to click on it, and you're going to order as many copies as you need, and you're going to turn your business into the, the best experience you've ever had in your life. You're going to make more money than you ever dreamed of, and it's going to be fun. You're going to love going to work seven days a week if that's what you want to do. Or if you're on vacation, you can turn a, va a bad vacation into a good one. Or you, with a client at dinner and things are going badly, you can switch it in your mind and that might save the whole thing. And even if it doesn't, it'll still save you, even if the sale doesn't go through. But most likely, they're going to love you so much that they're going to just keep buying from you and ordering from you over and over again. Because they're just going to like you. They're going to say, well, maybe not this time, but if you have something in the future, let us know because we like working with you. You know, like that. It's just going to be like that. So, well, I, I've gone on long enough, and if you're still hearing me, that means you haven't bought this yet, right? So, so go over there and order it, and order as many copies as you need. I'm going to give you a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. You take care, and God bless.